Alrighty, I just wanted to go over two different lessons that I've learned really quick when it comes to road tripping in a Tesla. Um, they might be obvious to some people, but these are things that I've had to learn the hard way. So, the first thing is when you put in your destination, let me swap the camera around here. If you're gonna have multiple stops or at least one stop, the computer is automatically gonna calculate where you need to go and how long you need to stop for. Um, along with that, if you go down into your apps here, and go to energy and tap trip. Trip will only show up when you have a route planned, but this will show you the state of charge of where you're leaving and what you should arrive with. This will actually update live as you're driving so you can see if you're consuming more energy or less energy than it predicted. Um, and then this will update as well. So you'll get two separate lines. You'll get uh, the green line showing where you're currently at and then a gray line just kind of showing a shadow of what it predicted so you can compare the two. Um, which brings me to my first thing. When you think you're ready to leave, um, do not leave if it says 5%, unless you're 100% sure you're gonna make it. The reason why is because when there's 5% remaining, um, you can get there, but if you leave right away, it's actually gonna just instantly pop up on the screen and show stay below 70 miles an hour or stay below 65. And that's gonna continually adjust as you get closer to your destination. On the left, you can see the state of charge that the car is currently at. As that continues to go up, the other side sits and stays at 5%. Um, this is just recalculating constantly. Basically, if you wait longer, you can go a little bit faster. Um, at home, it might not make a big difference whether or not you wait the difference in time um, to charge. But when it comes to supercharging, that's where lesson two comes in. Um, the car will tell you keep charging or charge for five more minutes or ten more minutes And there have been a few times where I've looked at the charge rate what I should arrive with and it says five percent And I think oh, I got this I can do it, but the car still says to stay for a charge uh, Listen to the car the car knows really well uh, What charge you're gonna arrive with and if it says to wait five or ten more minutes just do it We've made this mistake more times than I care to admit I have finally decided that I'm actually gonna just start listening to the car but it'll show up a few times and it'll say charge for five more minutes and I'm like, no, I'm good. And five minutes after we leave, I've got 100 miles to go or 150 miles to go and it pops up and says stay below 75 and we're on an interstate that's 80 or something like that. So if I'd stayed the five minutes, I would have saved way more time than slowing down five miles an hour for the next 100, 150 miles. So those are the two lessons. Don't leave at 5% and listen to the car. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.